Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar from through the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days and it is staying really quite unsettled through the next five days. Temperatures will be a bit up and down but probably generally around average, maybe slightly above for most areas um, and with those warmer conditions or at least warmer compared to what we've had the last week or two with low pressure around we could see the first signs of a bit of proper convection taking place over the next few days maybe some heavy perhaps even thundery showers breaking out quite widely over the next couple of days well look at that on the uk v uh for this weekend now we'll have a look at the long range look at the gfs gm ecmwf and the ensembles and it is looking very unsettled the same sort of that pattern we've got at the moment with low pressure sat over the top of us throwing in weather fronts and heavy thundery showers looks like it will continue for the foreseeable future perhaps signs of something colder towards the end of the month but if you are looking for drier and warmer conditions it's not looking particularly great um doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of high pressure around really um the only good thing i could say is that over the last couple of days perhaps we've seen a bit of a trend towards slightly milder upper air temperatures it's sort of trended from average to maybe now a few degrees above average which may mean temperatures where we do escape the cloud and rain could get towards the mid to high teens instead of mid to low teens like we were thinking a few days ago but at the same time this could allow more uh, convective showers breaking out and increase the strength of those as there'll be more moisture and warmth in the air so we'll have a look at that in the long range charts and the ensembles in the second half of the video so do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the links in the description so you start on the live radar you can see big weather fronts spread to our north and our east at the moment bringing some snow for parts of norway and scandinavia in general and it is still lingering across parts of northern scotland but behind this weather front we are into milder southwesterly winds temperatures in the low to maybe even mid-teens but heavy showers pushing you can see these down across the southwest and pushing into parts of france heavy convective showers now for most today we just see this heavier rain move in but it's really into tomorrow where we see a bit of clearer skies under the lower pressure we could see some heavy thundery showers breaking out quite widely through england and wales could see some proper convection taking place some quite dramatic skies and a few thunderstorms could mix in no warnings in force it is pretty typical this time of year generally known as april showers we do see this sort of pattern normally more of a northwesterly flow caused by colder air aloft but this is more caused by a southwesterly flow but it's pretty typical we get this this time of year with that strengthening sunshine differing air masses throughout the atmosphere and we do see these big showers breaking out so that is likely to feature in the near future and proper pan for the next few weeks in general as well so staying very unsettled and fairly uh, average maybe slightly above average in terms of temperatures if you do escape those uh, showers though and escape the cloud it will be pretty decent out there pretty decent sunshine around in places and it will feel quite warm compared to what we have had recently where temperatures have been in the low single digits with quite a lot of snow around so you can see the temperatures around midday today are pretty mild further southwards yellow is widely sort of showing low to maybe mid teens but still across scotland low uh, teens to perhaps mid single digits with over the higher ground more towards freezing again expected this time of year and we will still see frontal snowfall in scotland which still does hang on to that cold air but it's pr we're pretty confident now most of england wales ireland northern ireland and southern scotland will be in generally milder air masses really only the north of scotland and over higher ground will continue to see perhaps colder spells now if you put on the UKV and have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days you'll be able to see there is really no respite in the precipitation. Now you can see the rain spreading through earlier this morning clearing away and then we see some more heavier showers and rain generally pushing through this afternoon. You can see a bit of convection taking place across the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland perhaps into Scotland maybe a few heavy thundery showers breaking out there and then through this evening it does turn a little bit drier and could see some breaks in the cloud. However, into tomorrow, we see a bit more sunshine, perhaps some frontal rainfall into the far southeast. But look what happens widely. We see these specks of red starting to appear. And these are heavy, thundery showers starting to break out. Of course, it won't break out exactly like this. It's impossible to forecast convection at the best of times. But especially when they're very isolated showers like this and there's no real... Um, 
sort of feature creating them it really is just simple convection with the sunshine um it's difficult to pinpoint where they'll be but we can say roughly where the array of showers will be and they could be heavy thundery hail could be a feature as well as these do spread through tomorrow afternoon so make sure you do keep an eye out through tomorrow afternoon the best way to know when these showers will be coming is to have a look at the live radar and you can see later in the evening you can see they're becoming a little bit larger these showers especially across the republic of ireland and perhaps across parts of eastern england where they perhaps sort of band together and become a bit beefier before they soon, uh, soon start to degrade away through the evening. Still could see some more showers through the early hours of Saturday. A lot of convection around, not too much frontal rainfall, apart from sort of northern Scotland. And then to Saturday, sort of a bit of a repeat there with some heavy convective showers breaking out into the afternoon before dying away into the evening. Into Sunday, a bit of a respite for the early afternoon, but then we see another weather front move in. Heavier rain for all overnight Sunday into Monday. So if you do got plans for the weekend, maybe Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon could be the best time to do that before the rain does move in from around mid-afternoon for further westwards and late afternoon to early evening for areas further eastwards. Eventually that will slowly clear, but then another big low-pressure system moves in. Heavier rain once again for Monday. Quite big frontal systems there again. Some areas still in relatively drought conditions, not seeing too much rainfall over the winter, and of course having very low rainfall through the summer, uh, through last summer that is. So seeing a lot of rain now probably is needed, and it's probably a good time to get it out of the way uh, before people will want a bit more sunshine and warmer weather as we head towards Easter and of course into the main bulk of summer. Now, if you do look at the temperatures, you'll be able to see it is quite up and down over the coming days, but generally it'll be average to above average for most areas. Again, will be best in the sunshine, of course, feeling cooler under the rain and cloud. Through this afternoon, you see temperatures peaking perhaps around that 10 to 13 degree mark across most of England and Wales, maybe 14 or 15 degrees across the Republic of Ireland, generally average for the time of year. Overnight tonight, temperatures won't drop away all too much, maybe mid to high single digits in the coolest spots. And by tomorrow afternoon, temperatures could peak perhaps 14 or 15 degrees. Again, sunshine aiding that, but also sparking some of those showers. You can see across the far north of Scotland, still in some colder air, only mid to low single digits there. Again, very isolated pockets of colder conditions. But of course, if you're trapped under that cold air, it will feel continually like it is winter. Beyond that, into the weekend, again, temperatures not dropping away too much into Saturday morning, and by the afternoon, once again, 13, 14, 15 degrees, average to slightly above for most areas. As we progress into Saturday, uh, Saturday night into Sunday, cold air does sweep in for a time, perhaps a frost in northern and western areas, and for most on Sunday, it's slightly cooler day, towards average, really, around 10, 11, 12 degrees, below average further north, where it's more mid to high single digits, and then into Monday as well, you can see those temperatures are perhaps recovering 10 to 14 degrees for Monday night into Tuesday, back down to sort of 8 to 10 degrees, so still relatively mild. So you can see a little bit up and down in the temperatures over the coming days, but not expecting anything too drastic, generally average to above average, perhaps briefly below average for a time through the weekend. Uh, but yeah, nothing too spectacular. And you'll be able to see on the ensembles, it's pretty consistently average to slightly above average over the next week or so. But of course, that would be decent if you're under higher pressure. We could see some warmth build, maybe mid to high teens, could even squeeze a 20 degree towards the end of the month if we saw high pressure around. But as we'll see from the main models now, it's going to be dominated by lower pressure. Not looking great uh, if you want anything drier out there. So you can see southwesterly winds at the moment, low pressure sat over the top of us. Through the weekend, brief ridge of higher pressure will give some briefly drier weather through Sunday, as we saw. However, low pressure does move back in through early parts of the week, and then we go into a really unsettled spell. Low pressure just sat over the top of us, and it's just fueled by cold air from the north. And we just see a bit of a cut-off low developing. This would be very unsettled. Look at the upper air temperatures, perhaps wrapping some warm air in within it. Could turn us temporarily a bit warmer, but under lower pressure would fuel the showers. And most likely, we would probably see our first outbreaks of thunderstorms and proper convection for the end of March and start of April. Now, of course, cold air isn't, or isn't too far away, so we could see a cold snap within this, but we're only seeing that from a small number of 
models at day 10 and beyond up until day 10 from sort of now to day 10 is looking generally westerly based with generally average to above average air masses and generally very unsettled conditions if you compare it to the gm see what that is showing again westerly winds at the moment high pressure briefly in for the weekend before big low pressure moves in and look at that just parked over the top of us very unsettled though and you can see a bit more of a northerly airflow here at day 10 again not ridiculously cold but more average to below average air masses this probably would keep a bit of wintriness in Scotland and probably some frost to end the month in Scotland as well. Still keeping us relatively cool, if not quite cold. But it's still the same as the GFS, keeping low pressure over the top of us. Very unsettled, very showery and probably a lot of frontal systems moving in as well. Not looking great if anything warmer or drier. If you look at the ECMWF, see how that does compare. Again, you can see the westerly flow at the moment, low pressure over the top of us for most of the time, and then into next week. Look at that, extremely unsettled. Quite a similar pattern to what we've had recently with cold air trying to filter out the Arctic, but westerly winds gathering that cold air and mild air to our south and just fueling these low pressure systems could be quite stormy, very unsettled with that. Again, if we saw a bit more of a succinct block, we would see very cold air flooding our way, a bit of a polar plunge to end, end my March. Some on some members are showing that, as we'll see in a minute, but the majority do keep us relatively average with big low pressures moving in, very unsettled, and perhaps still some snow in parts of Scotland. So that will continue over the coming weeks. Not looking great, I must say. Really, really not looking great. If anything drier or warmer, again, still signs that we're seeing the sun stratospheric warming impacting us with a southerly track jet stream and cold air flooding out of the arctic not directly impacting us really uh, over the coming weeks perhaps but fueling the low pressure systems and just keeping us very unsettled and generally cooler than uh, many would like now if you finish by looking at the ensembles you can see for the next week or so we're generally average to slightly above average definitely seen a bit more of a trend up towards that five degree isotherm away from that zero degree isotherm so perhaps considerably above average by four or five degrees for a time but i must emphasize there will be quite a bit of precipitation around london does look likely it could be slightly drier for the early parts of next week but just looking at that ukv these ensemble members might not be taken into into uh, into account the convection that could be coming so we could actually see a lot of heavy showers here hit and miss uh, again will not be picked up by the low resolution ensemble members it should generally be very unsettled though for most areas especially in the north and the west and you can see for the end of the month perhaps signs of something cold or perhaps that cold air flooding out of the arctic we see the majority more around average a couple of degrees either side you see the dew points generally around five to ten degrees or so a warmish air mass for the time of year again that will fuel the convective showers and the two meters temperatures generally around the mid-teens perhaps low teens over the coming weeks anything really getting about 15 degrees or above will start to feel a little bit warm in the sunshine and that could be coming within the next week or so but i must emphasize we have to see sunshine with that 15 degrees in rain feels cool and cold it does not feel particularly great so we would have to see sunshine and clearer skies if we were going to see 15 degrees and say it does feel warm out there so we'll have to see what happens with that if we look at the ecmwf to compare again for the midnight run generally average to slightly above average perhaps not quite as above average as the gfs on some walls were going up for and keeping us a lot more unsettled more precipitation spikes of course there are more ensemble members but generally more precipitation spikes and more frequency and more clusters appearing here definitely in the longer range more trending towards average to below average perhaps some quite cold runs appearing but once again can't look too much into that as it's still so so far away and again if we look further northwards up towards glasgow for the precipitation you can see a lot higher precipitation here still generally average slightly above average so quite a similar sort of trend in temperatures but a lot more unsettled and if you actually look, have a look at cardiff as well perhaps slightly drier early next week again probably not taking into account the convection but looking very unsettled in general and this is generally frontal rainfall as i said not taking into account the convection that we're likely to be seeing which could cause a lot of heavy widespread showers especially over the next few days and perhaps into the foreseeable future as well as we head towards convective season which is generally sort of second half of march april into may before we head into summer so anyway 
Hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure you do like and subscribe. And I hope you do get out there, enjoy the sunnier weather when we do have it. Unfortunately, it does look likely there will be a lot of rain around. And of course, if you do enjoy convection, if you do like thunderstorms, you do like nice cloudscapes, then perhaps the next few days it'll be good to look out the window because there could be some quite interesting skies going on. Don't want to make, it, want to make any promises because it's not a huge convective signal, but definitely the chances of a bit more heavier showers and thunderstorms perhaps breaking out over the coming days. Again, not too uncommon for the time of year, but sort of the first instance we've had uh, as we head into proper spring conditions where we do have very mixed temperatures, uh, precipitation and sunshine melts. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you again for another video soon.